Wait, 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 Tyler. How about you give some background information about distance training shoes? With the number of miles you log as a distance runner, the shoes that you wear are super important. For distance, the type of shoe you have can prevent injury and keep you healthy throughout the season. Choose the wrong shoe and you can end up with shin splits halfway through your outdoor track career and that would be the end of all of your hard work. So, the shoes that you choose to run in have to fit your feet perfectly and give exactly what you want. Let's go ahead and unbox my favorite pair of shoes that I've been running in for about a year. Beauties. Let's do a quick model shoot in three, two, one. So these shoes right here are called the Hoka Clifton 4s. And the whole Clifton series is basically what I'm going to be covering in this video. So Hoka's are generally considered some of the best long distance shoes that you can wear as a track athlete. So why are Hoka Clifton's the very best training shoe you can have? Let me give you three reasons on why I think Hoka's are the best distance training shoe on the market. First off, the Hoka sole is unbelievably supportive. We're talking two inches of super supportive foam that will keep you upright and level throughout all of your long runs, no matter the distance. The added support also gives weight to the shoe, which makes it even more ideal for training runs where you can strengthen your legs by moving that extra weight. Secondly, the cushioning that the Clifton's provide is surreal. Despite hitting well over 500 miles in my first pair, the entire time they felt cushioned and light with every step I took along my runs. All in all, having increased padding is going to help you land lighter on your feet and reduce the impact of your feet hitting the ground multiple times. And finally, the heavy build that comes with the Clifton's makes sure that you're maximizing your training potential at all times. Instead of training with super light shoes, you get that advantage of having a heavy shoe that you have to lift up over and over again, giving you increased value for all of your runs, especially on hill training. Those three reasons, support, cushioning, and weight, are three of the main reasons why Hoka is one of the best distance training shoes on the planet. And with all the mileage that you do as a long distance athlete, you need these things in a shoe to keep you healthy and keep you going through all the miles. So enough with all the talking, let's go ahead and put these babies on and go for a run. Just need the shoes now. Let's go run. I just want to say, running in new shoes is one of the best feelings in the world. 
But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about why I think Hoka's are one of the best shoes out there for training and just really getting that distance in. So back in uh, high school, freshman, sophomore year, I was running an Asics GT 2000s. Great shoe, really didn't have a lot of complaints, but towards the end of sophomore year, I was starting to get shin splints running in them for uh, long periods of time. I was probably only doing about 20, 25 miles a week. And then these really upped me up and I, I was trying to get that mileage in. And I just couldn't, I kept getting these problems in my shins. So I moved on to the Saucony Guide 9s. And these guys were treating me great as well for the first two months running in them. And then once I started to put some distance on them, I'd start getting ankle problems. Something in my arch too was really bugging me and everything in my foot just hurt after I had put about 200 miles on these. So this summer when I was really looking to up mileage, I was asking some of my friends, a lot of them suggested the Hoka's. So I went with the Hoka's, got those, up my mileage, doubled it, even tripled it over the summer and I had no problems whatsoever in the Hoka's. So I've been running in Hoka's eight, nine months now, and they have been absolutely fantastic. No problems with them whatsoever, and they give me the comfiest ride while I'm really grinding out those miles. So those are the reasons why I switched to Hoka's. Now let me go finish the run and enjoy the new shoes. That's essentially gonna wrap it up for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed in that I convinced you guys to buy a pair of these wonderful shoes. At the very worst, try them out for a season. If they don't work, switch to something else. But I assure you, this will be one of the comfiest rides you will ever wear while riding. So make sure to exceed yourself every day. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.